Hi friends, welcome. This is Christina May serving you with another slice of pie. Pie? Coming right up. A slice of pie is a sound bite to whet your appetite with something positive, inspirational, encouraging, and sometimes entertaining. Before you rent or buy. Last year, I rented a quaint small home, or at least I thought it was a small house with a small yard. It's near our small town Main Street and has a tremendous river trail just minutes from my house. When my landlord showed me this home, I was drawn to the original hardwood floors throughout the entire house. The sunroom has a cobblestone floor that resembled something from an Italian bistro. Lots of windows on all sides of the house. Plenty of lush grass and landscaping. I eagerly signed the lease and was thrilled to score this house. I'm still pleased with my decision. The caveat? I've learned from these 13 months that small is a relative measurement. I'm someone who appreciates and keeps a clean, minimally furnished home. Shortly after I moved in, I discovered just how large 1,100 square feet can become when I swept those magnificent hardwood floors. And when I saw how many Swiffer pads I used, my small house seemed to expand. Remember how I told you about those large windows on every side of my house? Yep, those double pane windows require a lot of cleaner and towels. Not to mention I found that the rate of streaks has been significant. And all that luscious grass and landscape? I didn't realize I was responsible for lawn care when I signed the lease. So I needed a mower and yard tools to do it myself or hire someone to care for that <clears throat> small yard. I decided to hire a young man in the neighborhood to care for it and added his cost to my weekly budget. Do I still appreciate my house? Yes. Am I intensely grateful for generously kind neighbors and location? Absolutely. I do have a suggestion if you decide that you're in the market to rent or buy a new living space. Ask your potential landlord or realtor if you can live in your residential prospect at least one week before you sign any agreement. If they agree to your proposal, use that week to mop and vacuum the floors, wash the windows, mow the grass. Pay attention to the time effort, supplies, and cost you give to each house task. Take notes, and when your trial live-in period is over, consider your decision. There's responsibility that comes from every choice. There has been an unexpected upside of this small house that comes with an in-home training facility. I can blend my outside walks with cross-training equipment such as a broom and a mop. And I can work my arm muscles and listen to great tunes while I clean. Plus, I've been able to give a lawn maintenance friend some job security for the summer. That's no small change. I encourage you to make whatever change you need that will add to your large vision for the long term of the lease on your life. So friends, that leaves you with a small slice of pie and some food for thought. What about you? What discovery have you made when a small decision impacted you in large ways? This is Christina May, finishing a slice of pie. You can check out my adventures and mission to spread sunshine one smile at a time when you visit my website at www dot guest star coaching dot com or you can search previous pie episodes under a slice of pie with Christina May. So until next time, be kind to yourself.
Be gentle with all creation. We're all practicing this minute for the first and last time ever. This is Christina May with a slice of pie.